This video will outline the basics of Looptastic HD, an incredibly intuitive new app for DJs, producers, and musicians that lets you remix and perform using audio loops and effects on Apple's new iPad. There are also versions available for iPhone and iPod Touch that have the same basic functions, just fewer features and less content. These include Looptastic Producer and Looptastic Gold, which is a free version. New HD owners should be sure to go to the Loop Store and download their free loop sets. HD comes with over 900 loops across most major electronic music styles. Note that there are other free sets plus some available for purchase that drill deep into a particular style. You can hear previews of what the loop set will sound like. Now if we click on a loop set, it will load into the control strip found on Looptastic's main screen. Loops are color coded based on instrument type. Gray is a drummer percussion part, green is a bass part, blue is synthesizers and keyboards, and red is special effects or vocals. You can touch a loop to see its name. You simply drag and drop a loop into one of these three mix zones. Underneath the mix zones is a DJ style crossfader that routes the mix zone to the audio outputs. Moving the crossfader to the right, you hear the right mix zone, and to the left for the left mix zone. The center mix zone is always playing. Simply drag the loop up or down in the mix zone to change its volume within the mix, and we support multi-touch so you can grab multiple loops to change their relative volumes in the mix. The top of the screen shows the scratch strip. It's a waveform display of whatever loop is currently selected. Here you can choose to play different parts of the waveform, scratch it back and forth like a record. And you can also turn the looping feature off to use the sample as just a one shot. In the middle of the screen you see an XY touchpad where you can add sound effects and perform them in real time like instruments. You get effects like bit crusher, filters, a flanger, delay, the glitchy repeater, and stutter effects. Note that these three buttons below the touchpad coded with the same colors as the mix zones affect which mix zone gets the effect. For example, if I only want to affect the loops on the right zone, I'll turn off all the other zones. If I want to just affect the sound in the middle here, I'll just choose this middle zone. Or if I want the other zone to have the effect, I only select it. Listen as I control the effects. Notice that the only sounds in the right zone sound affected. This makes it easier to have a sound like a vocal swimming in effects, but still have a dry drum part pounding away and keeping it grooving. By hitting the record button, I can now create a new loop using the mic on my iPad. Here it goes.
So Looptastic has been recording my moves in the background ever since I selected my first loop set. So now I can save my performance. I'll call it My Mix. And it saves out as an uncompressed audio file. Now I can export that to my computer so I can use it within some other audio software. Or I can share my mix on SoundCloud using my SoundCloud account. 